small business, it's big business. It's, of course, it's our passion. Yeah. You know, the NSPC uh, created six years ago, of course, and we have an amazing team. You know, our, our passion is simply, it was from the beginning, if we could help one small business in one small way, mm. then we would be successful. And you find often in the cases that small business do not get recognized. And tonight it's about recognizing the achievements of small business. Mm. So from that perspective, you know, to end it off the year and to have this function and to do that uh, is, of course, important to the NSBC and very important to me personally. And uh, I know to our sponsors, uh, it's a nice way to recognize. And so we've, we've changed it up this year. We've gone from how many uh, categories? Well, you know, we've... For the last four years, uh, five years, my apologies, five years, uh, we've had two categories. Just two. National Small Business Champion. Wow. And National Entrepreneur Champion. And we jump to six now. And so, ladies and gentlemen, the winner in this category, please give it up for Jade Atrash of Plum Crazy Events. A little bit about Jade. Just when Jade started to doubt herself, she got the customer of her dream who had 50K and wanted to plan their 40th birthday party. Jade planned every bit of that party down to the final detail and she is beyond grateful that, that the client trusted her that way. She was so happy and returned to them for various functions thereafter. She helped inspire and motivate Jade to believe in herself and grow her business, to purchasing thousands of rands worth of equipment, hiring staff, and aiming to be the best in their field. I'm really honored to be standing up here as such a young person amongst all these entrepreneurs. It really means so much to me. An event like this just inspires people, it keeps people going, and it keeps that passion in people to keep going with their businesses and being entrepreneurs. And so I just want to thank NSBC and the Nedbank for sponsoring the category. Um, I'm really, really grateful for this award. So thank you very much. And that leaves Jacqueline Berg from Rarity. Give it up, give it up, give it up. Congratulations. Congratulations. Here we go. Now, Rarity Handbag's inspiration is the celebration of African design. Their motivation is to grow the prominence of the South African design sector globally. With the result, with the result of increased opportunities for the dynamic and vibrant people of our country. In the trend-setting Woodstock district of Cape Town, Rarity is mindfully designing and crafting natural exotic leather hides into accessories out of responsibly sourced hides, tanned to the highest international specifications. The Rarity Studio at the foot of Table Mountain was the first of its kind in developing hide leather manufacture in Cape Town. Through exports, Rarity has been creating meaningful employment and training dedicated artisans since its inception. Um, I went to a very inspiring talk quite recently. A woman was talking to matric students and she said to them, the person you are and the person you become are two very different people and the journey between those places is what defines you. And I think we've heard everyone speak about that treadmill. When you're on it, you've just got to keep going. Respect, integrity, compassion, accountability. Those are the lifebloods of businesses. They're the things that keep them going. And I just think it's amazing that someone like me could have started something with the Cash Team Provident Fund and not achieve what I have. But I want to say that everyone can do it. And um, you just got to believe in what you do, and you've got, to, you've got to move forward. And I applaud everyone who has a business and contributes to our economy. And I've got to say, exports is the way to go, guys. We have to fly that flag and be ambassadors for an incredible country with incredible people and incredible talents. So yeah, thank you very much for this. And so, ladies and gentlemen, our winner in the category of Women in Business, Women in Business Champion for 2014 is Candice von Furen of Crystal Garnet Bridal Boutique. Now, Candice registered her business in October 2010 while while still uh, employed full-time, she and her mom renovated their garage and turned it into a mini bridal boutique. And this is where they consulted with brides and clients on a part-time basis for a period of about three and a half years. Operating from residential premises on a part-time basis restricted her trading. But she never gave up and knew that one day her dream of owning a beautiful bridal boutique and operating it on a full-time basis would come to pass. And so, 
she had a dream wall or what some people call a vision board. And this helped Candace to stay focused over the years. And she had a picture of a beautiful bridal boutique in her day, on her dream wall. And after three and a half years of being in business, an opportunity became a, an opportunity came to take over existing bridal premises in four ways and to go into business full time. Candace had her eye on this location for the last two years and her vision and her goal has always been to go into business full time. And when the opportunity became available, she decided to follow her inner, her inner voice and take a big step of faith embarking on a new journey of being an entrepreneur on a full-time basis. Firstly, I want to thank NSBC for this opportunity. I want to thank all the sponsors, especially Vodacom for the Women in Business Sponsor Award. Thank you so much. And what many of you don't know is that the very picture that I had on my dream wall about four years ago in terms of what I wanted my business to look, look like when she grows up is the very same boutique that I'm in today in the Four Ways area. So I do believe in the power of a dream. I do believe in perseverance and persistence. And even if it gets tough to just keep on going, but I also believe that it's important to have people around you that support you, that believe in you. And most importantly, I also just want to thank my Heavenly Father and my Lord and Savior Jesus, because if it wasn't for Him, I know that I would not be standing here today. And I thank each and every one of you for coming to support us here and allowing, this, allowing us this opportunity. Thank you so much. Oh. And so, ladies and gentlemen, the winner of the 2014 National Entrepreneur Champion Award, Lindy Esibambo, of Made For You. Uh, Lindy Esibambo is the founder and CEO of Made For You, a former domestic worker who comes from humble beginnings. She's also the mother of two, wife, a sister to most, a motivational speaker, and a pure inspiration. She comes from an underprivileged background, and after matric, she could not further her studies. She had to find employment to raise cash to register at a tertiary institution the following year. She worked as a domestic worker and later managed to further her studies and was employed within the finance sector for over 10 years. And after, after experiencing endless challenges, uh, trying to... Uh, to employ domestic help, she found she founded Made For You, an agency which focuses on sourcing unskilled, untrained, and uneducated women from rural and underprivileged areas, who show the capacity, discipline, and integrity required for any work environment, especially household and baby care. He's in flesh. So I'd like to say to Mike Anderson and his whole team that what you're doing for small business in South Africa is absolutely amazing. Thank you so much to ABSA for supporting small businesses, for all the, the women in business series that you're doing, for your wonderful portal for small businesses, for the Pebble, the wonderful device that you've created for us. Thank you so much. And most importantly, this, this award goes out to all the women that wear aprons every day and make me look good. These women are mothers, they are aunties, they they play certain roles in their family. So if you have a maid in your house, just look at them twice a bit because they are human beings. They aspire for more. I like to say to these women, thank you. Bigo, Carl Wallace, 2014 National Small Business Champion. Congratulations. Ladies and gentlemen, Carl, is here representing Vigo, an award-winning cloud-based website building tool allowing absolutely anybody to create a beautiful website on any device from anywhere in the world, no skills required. Vigo was born in Africa and built for Africans. Vigo was launched in August 2013 and only in, in, in only a year, they have more than 1,700 businesses using their platform. They raised capital in early 2013 to build the software and they're in the process of raising their second round of growth throughout the African continent. The company focuses on developing enterprises and creating jobs by providing innovative tech solutions to the SME sector. Obviously, it's extremely humbling to receive an award like this, but it really feels very selfish to be standing here alone when there's an amazing team behind me back in Cape Town that's helped me make, uh, make Vigo happen. And um, this is completely, uh, totally dedicated to them and also to our corporate partners. Microsoft has been behind us from the very beginning and um, so is NetBank as well. 
So uh, to my team and to our amazing partners, the future is even bigger. NSPC is a great way to keep people motivated and inspired to, to be the best in the industry. NSBC is playing a very vital role in terms of small business. It's such an exciting and amazing event that they've put together and just the recognition you know, that comes with it as well. What an amazing experience. A, a national award uh, for such a prestigious institution is just quite something. I'm really excited to see what will happen next year. I think. Um, this year has really been big for the NSBC, but I think next year is going to be even better.